my friend. I'm so glad that you're here to join me when we are going to be exploring today a farm. A farm. We're going to explore what animals live on a farm. Do you have any ideas for what animals live on a farm? Tell me some ideas. Those are amazing ideas for what animals live on a farm. You might see a pig on a farm. Maybe you will see a cow on a farm. Moo! Or you might see a chicken on a farm. Today we're going to explore with art and words animals that live on a farm. We're going to draw a cow. We're going to make a craft. And at the end you can watch me paint a pig for the farm. Oink, 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 oink. So put your hands up, put your hands down. Clap if you're excited. And wave that magic paintbrush all around. And let's dive in to this day, to, into today's episode and let's make some art. going to create a cow. Cow starts with the letter C. C for cow. This is an uppercase letter C and we have a lowercase letter C. Do you know any other words that start with the letter C? Hmm, <gasps> those are amazing ideas. Well, because we're learning about the farm, we're going to draw a cow. And cow starts with the letter C. So we're gonna start by drawing or writing the letter C. Next, when we, when we say the word cow, we hear an ow sound. Ow, ow. Do you know what two letters, when we put them together, make the ow sound that would be in cow? Hmm. Yep, they are the letters O and W. O and W say ow. So we have k ow, k ow. That spells cow. C O W spells cow. There is a letter C at the beginning of the word cow. There we go. Letter C, letter C, ow spells cow. So let's draw a cow. Let's begin with one big letter C. Ah, see, we brought the letter C into our cow. And then we're going to do a reverse letter C, backwards letter C, to make the other half of cow's nose. We're going to draw an oval in each side of the nose. So cute. And you can go ahead and we're going to draw a nice big curving line above each side for the eyes. In each of those, we're going to draw another curve for the eyes. And we can color them in. And what I like to do to make them look extra cute is I like to leave a little bit of white because eyes are pretty shiny. 
And if you look at a friend or a sibling or a family member, or even in the mirror at your own eyes, you'll notice that they're shiny. And when light reflects off a shiny surface, it almost looks like there's white spots or light spots on them. So we're gonna have that on there. You can also color in the dark of your nose or nostrils. Next, we can draw a curving line up and over the eyes and back down to the snout. Above each eye, we're gonna draw a little curving line for the stubs of the horns. You can draw a floppy ear out on either side for cow. We'll draw a line that from the point to the head for the fold of the ears. going to draw the body down, the little tail up and off the page. We can add some zigzag lines at the end of the tail for the fur. And then we'll just draw one line down from this side down to the bottom as we look at our cow on the side. Now I do have something missing on my cow. I'm going to do a dairy cow and dairy cows are often Black, a white with black spots. So I'm gonna do a dairy cow, but sometimes cows are brown and they may just be all brown. So if you want a brown cow, you can color it in brown. But if you wanna do a dairy cow, we can draw spots on our cow and you can make any kind of spots that you want. I like to just use wavy lines to make my spots. And you can put spots wherever you want your spots to be. Once you're done drawing your spots, you can grab your favorite colors to color with and favorite art mediums and go ahead and color it in with your choice of colors and art making mediums. And if you don't want to do a realistic cow, maybe you want to make a purple cow, maybe you want to make a rainbow cow, you can do whatever color cow you want. The one thing about being an artist is that we get to use our imagination and make things different the way we want them to be. So there's no right or wrong way to do it. You do it the way you like it. Once you're done, your lovely cow is ready to go on adventures at the farm.
Alright my friends, it is time to create our craft and we're doing our farm craft. So we got to think about what animals live on a farm. Hmm, what should we make for a farm craft? Well, there's cows, pigs, goats, llamas. I wonder what sound a llama makes. I'm not too sure, but I know a pig goes oink, oink, oink. Oh, I know, how about a chicken? Bark, 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 bark. Let's do a chicken. All right, let's grab our toilet paper roll. And we're also going to need a white piece of paper. There's one, a white piece of paper. We're going to fold our white piece of paper in half in landscape orientation or like a hot dog. Just like that. And when we open it, we're going to have this lovely crease down the center, a lovely crease down the center, and that's the line that we're going to cut up. All right, let's cut, cut, cut up the crease, away from our body, making sure our hands are not in the way. All right, we got two pieces of paper. We're gonna put one to the side. We're gonna grab our trusty toilet paper roll and either our glue stick or some tape, glue stick or tape. We're going to hold up our toilet paper roll this way to our paper. We're gonna grab a piece of tape and we're gonna tape it on just like that so it stays. And then we're going to roll, roll, roll. And then we're going to tap, tap, tap on the table. And then we're going to either tape or glue it together. Boop. And now we have a nice white toilet paper roll ready to become a chicken. All right. Now we need to make little red flap for the top of chicken's head. Actually, I think I have some red paper in my scrap paper bin that I'm going to grab. Here it is. And I also see that I have some yellow that I can use and recycle. Use and recycle. So I always like to keep my scraps in case I just need a little bit. Well, I need a little bit of yellow for the beak and for the feet, and I need a little bit of red for the floppy thing on its head. All right, I'm gonna save part of this white for the wings later, but we're going to turn this part in. Okay, so let's draw a little floppy thing for the head. I'm gonna find a straight edge on here. I'm just going to make some curvy lines. Make some easy curvy lines. We're going to cut out our curvy lines. Okay, just like that. We can add it on top of chicken's head. So cute! Love it. All right, we can tape or glue in our little chicken flap. So cute. All right, we need a beak and we need feet. Okay, so I need to draw a triangle for our feet. Nope, for the beak. Triangle for the beak. Triangle for the beak. We're going to cut out our triangle. And we can taper. Glue it. I'm gonna glue it. To the front of our chicken. I like to hold it a couple of seconds just to make sure the glue has time to adhere. Just like that. Do, 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 do. All right, chicken has a beak, 
but it has no feet. Let's give it some feet. Oh, we gotta put the lid back on our glue stick. We gotta push it in until we hear a click. Okay, now we gotta make some feet with some zigzag lines. I got my two feet. And we can add those with taper glue to the bottom. Sometimes it's nice to do tape when the tape is flexible, it can move. So when I go ahead and put it on, like this, even though it's past the toilet paper roll, when I put it on the surface, they flatten. Just like feet. So cute. All right, now we need some wings. So we're gonna grab our white piece of paper and we're gonna draw two chicken wings. And you can draw your chicken wings any way you like. That's the lovely thing about making crafts and art. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Just do it the way that makes you happy. That's the key. Make you happy. And then we can cut them out. Okay. Now I've put my wings on one side because then I have all this extra paper that I can save in my scrap paper bin in case I need just a little bit of white. That way I'm not wasting this paper. If I put it in the middle, it kind of wastes it. All right, I have my wings I can add. Okay, I'm gonna grab tape or glue. I'm gonna add some wings to our chicken. Okay, now chicken can flap, flap, flap. So cute. I'm just moving it back and forth. That's all that's making it flap. It's just air because it's light and it's paper, so it moves. All right, now I think we're missing something on our chicken, aren't we? We're missing out eyes and some nostrils. So let's draw some eyes on our chicken. And a couple nostrils so it can breathe. Just like that, our chicken is done. All right, we're going to do our painting time. All right, we're on the farm, so we gotta make a farm painting. Let's see, we could do a cow, but we did draw one earlier. Who else lives on a farm? A goat lives on a farm? A chicken lives on a farm? Bunnies can live on a farm? Llamas live on a farm. There's also dogs that help on a farm. Oh, and sheep live on a farm. But you know who I'm thinking of? I think we're gonna paint our friend, the pig. Let's paint a pig. Here we go.
just like that, Pig is ready to find its friends on the farm. Well, my friend, I'm so glad that you joined me on today's farm episode. We got to make a lovely chicken craft, see a paint being painted, and we learned how to spell the word cow that starts with the letter C. So cute. I'm so happy that you joined me on this farm, farm themed adventure, and I will see you in the next episode. For more art lessons online and ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com.